Welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are doing a Toyota Crown. And yes, this is the Mac Daddy. This is the Majesta. It's got the 4.6 liter quad cam V8 up front, the eight speed auto. This thing is dripping with luxury. So let's check this car out. So what is a Toyota Crown? Well, basically it is a luxury sedan that has been built for the Japanese people. Uh, you know, it's exclusively designed for their needs, their style. These are an extremely, extremely popular car in Japan. They use these things from police cars to taxis to just government officials driving these things. It is very, very luxury. They also have a huge VIP style over there where young people love to get these crowns and put nice wheels on them, make them low, and it's a really big culture thing over there. Now within the Toyota Crown, there are some different variants. We have a Royal Saloon, I believe, which is the base model. Then you can move up to an Athlete, which is the sportier one, has a little bit sportier of a body kit, has a V6, however, and stiffer suspension. Then you can go up to the Mac Daddy here, which is the Majesta. This is the ultimate luxury one. This has got the 4.6 liter V8, which is actually the standard engine for the Toyota Crown in general. Even the base model gets the 4.6 liter, but the Majesta gets all the luxury. It gets trimmed out to the highest spec, and it is just really, really nice to scar. You can also get a hybrid if anyone wants to know that. These are rear wheel drive from factory, though you can option an all wheel drive version, at least with the Majesta though it does get a slightly smaller V8 for whatever reason, a 4.3. Now inside the Toyota Crown, I just want to quickly cover this stuff before we go for the drive. It's very luxurious, you know, typical like a Lexus, you push the start button, push button start, the steering wheel comes up to greet you. Get a little Toyota kind of chime that greets you here. And it's very JDM, if you ever been to Japan, and you've been in a proper JDM car over there, you know, it, it, the, the infotainment system here is all in Japanese. So I really cannot tell you just about anything about this, though I do know a cool fact in Japan is that they have TV, uh, you know, transmitters in their car so they can just be driving through traffic, watching the local news or, you know, whatever they want to watch on TV, which is a pretty cool thing. I don't know how they get away with that though. In the back seats, you really have a huge amount of space back there. You know, when you look at this car from the side on, the front doors are just as big as the back doors, which is something you do not see often. So, you know, this really does have that kind of limousine vibe to it almost. And when you sit back there, there is a huge amount of legroom. I had this seat all the way to the back and I still had a huge amount of legroom back there. You also do have a center console that comes down in the back seats with some controls on it so you can actually recline the back seats. Uh, you know, you can have your heated seats put on. You can actually control the radio as well from back there. So, you know, it's a really nice place to be and very, very luxurious. Welcome to the 2011 S200 Toyota Crown Majesta. And this is really a car that there isn't a lot of info on it. You know, if you, if you hunt the web for this car, there's not a whole lot of info on it. It's a very well kept secret by the Japanese and this car is really, really something special. So I'm very excited to have it out today for you guys. This has a 4.6 liter quad cam V8, very, very good engine. You know, Toyota build quality here. These things will last the test of time. It's paired to an eight speed auto, which is fantastic again. It just knows what it's doing. Very relaxing to go through the gears. This Majesta makes 345 horsepower from factory and 340 pound foot of torque. So look, it's not the most aggressively tuned V8, but this is the Majesta. This is the luxury car. So 
It is very just soft, pleasant, effortless. Just a very, very nice car to drive. Now the crazy thing to me is how Toyota has kept the crown as such a well-hidden secret because this is such an incredibly popular car in Japan, though the rest of the world really doesn't know a whole lot about it. And this is actually Toyota's longest running passenger vehicle that they have ever had. So this has been in production since 1955 and they are still going. The Crown is currently on its 14th generation and they have produced over 6 million crowns and that's since 2015 guys. So, you know, we might even add up another million there. So it is a very, very popular car, very good car, very well made. This car is very much Yakuza. You know, you see this thing, especially in the black like this one with the 20 inch aftermarket wheels. Lots of people in Japan love to put body kits on these cars, put a bit of camber on it, some nice wheels. They just are extremely cool looking. Now price for these Toyota Crowns kind of does vary. Here in Australia, if you want to buy a used one, you know, you have to have had it imported from Japan, of course, because these were not sold basically anywhere else. The only place I have found that this S200 generation was sold was in China. They imported around two or 300 left-hand versions and pretty much that's it. So, you know, these are a JDM, true JDM only car. And to get one over here in Australia, it is possible. Look at around that 20 to 30-ish thousand uh, dollars. You know, depending on condition, Ks. Now, how much this would have cost brand new back in 2011 in Japan was a little bit of a difficult piece of information to track down. I did find something that did say a Majesta without all the, without any options, it would have been starting at about 76,000 Australian dollars equivalent. So, you know, these were a pretty expensive vehicle, you know, and if you add in some of the options, they really do get very, very pricey. But you sit in one of these, you know, you look at all the features, the options, like it does rival a lot of the European cars. It really, really does. And, you know, just to name some of the luxury features in this car, you know, we've got, again, heated and cooled seats here. Everything is electrically adjusted. We do have, uh, you know, sunshades in the rear. So we've got an electrically assisted one for the actual back window. The rear seat passengers have ones they can manually put up and down. This car runs factory air suspension. So we actually do have a button here as well that we can change the ride height. And when you just have a really good look at this thing, rolling down the road, you know, parked up somewhere, this thing just looks so cool. It really does have a presence about it. It's absolutely massive. It's very, very long, very, very, you know, wide. This thing weighs 1.8 ton. You know, it is a heavy car. I'm used to reviewing, you know, Falcons, Commodores. Those are huge sedans. This thing is bigger. It's bigger. It's heavier. It's, it's just something you do not see all that often. The fact that it's got a big 4.6 quad cam V8 as well really interests me. You know, I haven't been driving a quad cam V8 since my old XR8 Ute basically. And very cool to see that Toyota is doing this stuff. You know, I really wish this car was offered in the rest of the world. I think it really would do well. I think this is really a lot more of a subtle, you know, not show offy car that offers so much luxury. Now this S200 generation was launched in 2009 and was carried up until 2013. That is when they came out with a major, major change to the crown and got rid of the V8, did a massive styling overhaul. Uh, you know, I actually really do like the look of the new one, but not having the V8, you know, you do kind of lose a little bit of that, that specialness, I think. Now in Japan, again, these are very popular with 
the youth people over there. My wife is actually from Japan, and the Toyota Crown is one of her favorite cars of all time. And, you know, when I told her I was going to do a review on this, she got a little bit excited. She said, you know, this S200 is probably one of their favorite ones to modify, or you're going to go to the S180, I believe it was, the, the one previous before this one. Those two crowns are just so, so cool. Very, very heavily into the VIP scene. And nowadays, if you're going to import one of those cars, it is actually quite a challenge to find one that is in reasonably stock condition. The steering does have a pretty nice weight to it. Actually, it's not as soft as you might imagine it going to be because this is obviously a luxury vehicle. It does have a very nice sort of firmed up little weight to it. Suspension is very cruisy. You know, it really does just kind of waft along the road, which is nice. And again, the seats are just so, so comfortable. And just running through the gears here a little bit. It is actually very rapid. Wow, um, there is no sound. So you don't really get much of a sound from this, you know, it is a big V8, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's not much of a rumble, but again, this is a luxury vehicle. It's something that you don't want to sh be noticed in as much. And it, yeah, it's a very understated car, but just just doing a pull right there, wow, the, the, the speed is actually quite impressive and it is a very linear pull. Uh, you don't hardly feel any gear changes, so the eight speed is doing a very good job um, just effortless power. Yeah, that, the V8 does its job really well. Now, with reliability, being a Toyota, you know, this car will get hundreds of thousands of miles put on it. No issues at all. You know, I, I would have tremendous faith in this car, in the build quality, especially with the engine and the drivetrain. Uh, Toyota just do a, a really, really well-made vehicle. Now, as for having one that's imported here, you look, you know, if you need to replace some parts, it might be a little bit of an issue because obviously you're going to have to get them imported from Japan, but it can be done. And there is a huge aftermarket scene over in Japan. So the parts are there. Now fuel economy, this does have a huge fuel tank, 71 liters. Uh, if you're going to drive this thing normally, it's claimed around 12 liters combined, which is not too bad for a V8. Spirited driving, look, be around that 15, 16, and if you're on the freeway, you'll probably pull around nine, so it's not bad. Now, zero to 100. I'm actually not sure what this car's official number is, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be faster than we're all thinking. So if you wanna make a guess right now, put it in the comments. So yeah, I'm just leaving it in sport mode. The air conditioning is off. Uh, I'm not gonna preload it. I'm just gonna flat foot it and just see what it gets. So here we go. Three, two, one. Hundred. So it took a little second just for the gearbox to, to, to get everything right and go, but it's, it's rapid, this thing. Traction control light came on a little bit there as well. So yeah, it's a, uh, it is a impressive, impressive vehicle. And just the roll on acceleration, you know, once you get this thing up past three and a half, four thousand RPM, it really pulls. It, it really does go a lot faster than you were expecting. Very impressive, this thing. Now, I'm going to finish the video off here today. So, a huge, huge thank you to the owner for bringing down his. 2011 Toyota Crown Majesta. This is such a very, very cool, unique JDM luxury sedan, which you just do not see all that often in the rest of the world. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. We'll see you.